Welcome to the Break Free Podcast. It's Rachel. I'm back. I have a special guest today. This is Matt Preston, who owns Colorado Nutrition. Yep. And he has been an incredible supporter for the past. Now he's on three years of sponsoring the fitness festival, and we could not be more grateful for him, his knowledge, his just who he is in the community to have him on board has been an incredible blessing. So I'm excited for you guys to hear from him today. I'm going to start this off by letting him tell a little bit about his story. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks so much for having me. This is uh, a lot of fun. I was really excited uh, when you invited me on here. But uh, my name is Matt Preston. Uh, uh, my wife and I uh, co-own uh, Colorado Nutrition. We have a store in Fort Collins in Boulder. Uh, we've been in business for about seven years. We're completely local, independent. We're not part of a franchise or anything like that. It's, we kind of call it the old school mom and pop shop. Um, but uh, we really love what we do. Uh, I've been doing this for almost 15 years when it comes to the nutrition planning part. Um, I got a degree in microbiology and biochemistry, uh, University of Kansas. It's a little minor in nutrition and then wrote meal plans and all sorts of stuff through college and out of college. And then uh, when I did uh, did finish up at University of Kansas, I came back here to Colorado because I am a Colorado native and I actually ran a microbiology lab for about five years uh, and then kind of got tired of the lab life. And we started up Colorado Nutrition uh, uh, with our first store in Boulder. So we just really have that passion for nutrition and really the, the science uh, of what's uh, speaks into nutrition and not just fads and stuff like that. So yeah, I just love what I do. Awesome. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do something real quick. There, uh, there we go. All right. And, um, all right. <laughs> Going with the flow here, folks. Um, okay. So very knowledgeable guy, as you can tell right there. And, um, and also I, as I said before, like he, I mean, well this, they, you guys just have a heart of gold. Oh, and, well, thanks, you do, you do. <laughs> and that really feeds into who you are in the community and, and why people love you guys so much. Um, they love, you know, who you are and what you stand for. Thank you. So, uh, okay. What <laughs> does break free mean to you? When break free, um, that, that term, when you kind of coined that term, I just, I, just, I love it. For me, what it means nutritionally is breaking free from the stigma of if I eat this, this is bad. Um, I can't eat this because it's going to do this when inherently they don't. So it's, it's getting, it, it's releasing you from feeling so bad about something that you ate, maybe that wasn't on plan or that wasn't um, in your nutrition plan or, or your, your day to day, but getting past that going, Hey, there's nothing I can do about it. If I had a donut for breakfast, well, great. You had a donut for breakfast, move on. Um, don't beat yourself up for it. Free yourself from the, the stigma of this was good or this was bad. Maybe we look at, you know, amounts or something like that. And when we really want to determine whether it was good or bad, uh, 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 taking that in. Um, but really getting back to <laughs> getting back from the feeling bad about yourself because you ate a certain thing or you, you didn't do this or maybe you didn't work out or whatever in that you can't do anything about the, the past part of it. But what can we do going forward? Right. That's really, I think, what what break free kind of kind of means to me from a nutrition angle, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Oh, <laughs> absolutely. And that's that's a cool thing about break free that we've talked about over and over and over. And you guys have heard from so many different people is it means you first of all, you can apply it to every area in life. Right. And you're breaking free from breaking free into. And, and what does that really look like? And, and Matt really bringing it in into the nutritional aspect of your life, which so many of you can relate to right now. Right. None of us are perfect. No. And so being able to like listen to him and hear that, I'm like, oh, totally. You know, you have to be in that place of pulling away from that all or nothing attitude, yeah. really. Yeah, yeah. If you go all or nothing, then when you stumble, then you're back to nothing. And then right. what, how does that serve you going forward of how hitting goals of whatever those might be? Maybe it's to perform better in your next workout or hit a PR or feel better throughout the day. How does beating yourself up because you missed a snack or, or kind of were off on a meal or you just didn't have time. So why beat yourself up for that for, for no reason when it does not, doesn't serve you, doesn't serve you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It, it does not serve you. It's not going to help you move forward in your life. Yeah. It's not going to make you feel better about anything. You can't do anything about it. So let's move forward and find ways that uh, we can just kind of jump back on things. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Great, great message. <laughs> and I know a lot of you are connecting into that right now because you're thinking, man, that's so me. Like I went off plan, I did something, I beat myself up for it. And now I haven't been back to what 
moving towards whatever goal I had for, you know, a while now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so many of my clients right now, you know, we're coming off the holidays. We're coming off of, you know, kids back in school. We're finally getting some um, rhythm in our days a little bit. We know what day it is now, right? <laughs> Between right. Christmas and New Year's, all sorts of reasons. So at halftime, I didn't even know what day it was. So we're getting some more routine back in there. But um, then it comes along with, you know, the uh, accountability of everything, you name it, but um, not beating yourself up because you uh, had too much over Christmas break or vacation. Right, right. <laughs> you can do something about it now. Yeah. That's what's neat. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that message of not beating yourself Don't up. Beat yourself up about no. it. No. <laughs> um, would you question? Yeah. And for you guys right out there, I want you to think about this. Um, would you, if it was somebody else in your life, and they were moving towards a goal and they told you, man, I like just going back to his example, I ate an, a donut for breakfast. Now I just totally blew it. Would you right there and then be like, oh man, you totally blew it. You should definitely give up. You should give up for the rest of the week, <laughs> the rest of the month. Just start, start next year. That's yeah. Like 20, like, 20, 2021. Yeah. We'll start then. No way. Would you no give way. them up that advice? No. No. So why would you give yourself, why would you talk to yourself that way? I have no idea why would I have no idea why I talk that <laughs> because it's not going to it's not going to help anything now. You know, like yeah. it's not going to help your day. It's not going to help you feel better by, you know, energy wise or your work or just your day to day. Mm -hmm. It's not going to help you anymore by just beating yourself up or going on about with those same patterns of, OK, I had a donut for breakfast. So I'm going to have one for lunch or, or whatever. Continuing those patterns isn't going to help you any feel any better because I don't know many people that eat you know donuts for breakfast and say, hey, I feel awesome all day. You know, right. So, <laughs> right. No, totally. And I, I think that I just wanted to bring that to point of like, you should think about the way that you're talking to yourself, the things oh, that you're telling yeah, yeah. yourself, you know, absolutely. You, you wouldn't do that to somebody else. So why would why you do, do it that to yourself? yourself right. hundred right. percent. Yeah, absolutely. So what brings you joy in life and how do you bring that to other people's life pertaining to the message you've already been spreading? The joy that brings me or that my clients bring me mm -hmm. is lifting the veil off of nutrition, um, of what works and what doesn't work. You know, we have a lot of trendy fatty things, which are fine. If they're tools for you, if, if doing, pulling something out of your daily, like carbohydrates or not eating till two o'clock, if that's a tool for you and that works, that's fantastic. But understanding nutrition and understanding, uh, what we call energy balance or really how many calories our body's expending versus what it's taking in, it still will always matter. So getting past those, I, this diet didn't work. This diet didn't work. This diet didn't work. Well, the reason why it didn't work is because your energy balance was off. You weren't expending enough calories for your body to pull from your energy, your, from your fat storage. So getting past that, starting with, you know, an overall metabolism, I can't tell you how many clients uh, that I have that have cyclically dieted throughout the years and their metabolism is not what it was before. It doesn't mean that they have a bad metabolism. It just is lower than what they thought it was. So if we work with real numbers, of what the body's expending, it's amazing what we can do. And then being lenient with what um, those calories are made up of, you know, when it comes to finding little ways to be compliant. Compliance is, is the biggest thing, or consistency, I should say, is the biggest thing when it comes to seeing results. You can't, you know, eat low all week, you know, and seeing results, all sorts of stuff, and then go to the weekend and have a heyday. You're going to... Um, you can absolutely kind of reverse that week. And that sounds tough, but it's true. It happens so much. We still have to be um, cognizant on those weekends, just like we were on the weekdays. So mm -hmm. that's what brings me most joy is seeing that that happen for someone that comes in that is has not seen results in so many different ways of doing nutrition. But when we put the numbers together and yeah, maybe things are a little bit lower than we want them to be, but there's nothing we can do about that when it comes to what the body's expending. All we can do is slowly bring up their metabolism through calorie intakes, through smaller intakes, all sorts of stuff so that they're regaining that metabolism and not just having to eat less, 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 and less because that eventually stops. You know, you can only eat so little and feel so crummy. You know, the less we take in, you know, someone eating five, 800 calories, they usually feel pretty crummy, you know, mm. so bringing that up so that they're in the end, <laughs> the forever nutrition plan, your forever plan in that we bring your metabolism up by slowly increasing those calories for those that have really um, fallen prey to those cyclic diets of just low, 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 and then binge, 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 binge. So. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. I can see. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, first of all, you can hear 
you can hear the scientists like type <laughs> in, in, in here. And I love it. I, I love try to, it. I try to bring it down a little bit. Vaughn, <laughs> my wife gets at me going, Hey, people are not going to understand this. And this stuff. So I try to try to bring it down, but sometimes it comes out. No, yeah. it's, it's great. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> uh, so I can totally understand that joy. I can see why that could bring you so much joy because it's the excitement of seeing somebody go from a place of like, they didn't know, or like they're, oh, yeah. you know, and, 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 and they've been trying to figure this out for so long Hopeless. and to be, yes. Yeah. And to be able to see them come to this place of like, all right, I get it now. I get it. And like years and years and years of yo-yo dieting, mm -hmm. how painful that is. Yeah. It's very right? painful. Absolutely. And it's to so watch painful. people to be able to come out of that. Yeah. Mm-hmm and saying, hey, I get to eat a little bit more and that's going to help me. Absolutely. Starving Honestly. themselves for yeah. so many years. Mm -hmm. It only works for so long. Yeah. yeah. yeah and then them. they're just like, I just, yeah. and now I don't even understand why I can't even lose weight anymore. Yeah. Right? That's exactly right. Because you've deregulated your metabolism so much. Because it's, um, what's a great example? Um, if, if you got in your car and it had, it, the e-light was on, you wouldn't like floor it to the gas station. You know, it's on E, like you would slowly go to the gas station. Yes. Your body is the same. If you have been pulling calories, if you've been in this massive energy deficit, this caloric deficit for years on years and cyclically dieting, all sorts of stuff, that's what your, your body's on E. Your, 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 your metabolism's on E. It does not want to crank out the energy um, as if, say, you had a, your car was on uh, full and you could just room around. You know, you wouldn't just slow it down trying to back off on that energy consumption. We want to feed that body so that it wants to, so that it wants to burn a little hotter. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very, mm -hmm. very neat. It's a, the, the metabolism is a very fluid thing. And so should your nutrition, you know, yeah. our and days are fluid. It can be, it can be fixed. That's the, absolutely. It absolutely can. Yeah. So many think that their metabolism is broken. That's why I can't lose weight. Uh, yada, yada, yada. It's not broken. The research will show over and over that it's not broken in, but we do need to um, come to a realization that, if that's where it's at, if your metabolism's down here, and when I say that, um, I'm talking about your, your basal metabolic rate or your BMR or RMR. If it's down here, there's nothing we can do about it from a right now standpoint. Like you can't take a pill, um, you can't go for a run or anything like that that's going to increase that metabolism. That's a whole different number, a uh, whole different um, subset of what we call your total daily caloric expenditure. Um, your BMR is that base amount of calories you're your body burns by doing absolutely nothing. If you were laid up in bed for 24 hours, you didn't move a muscle, this is how many calories it would take to basically keep you alive. Um, but we can build that, and the only thing that really builds that is an increase in calories, steadily and slowly. <laughs> but there's not, it doesn't have to stay down here. It does not have to stay down here. We can push it up. Hey, I mean, I'm sure there's people right now that are like, well, I, I'm so happy to hear that because it's something Good. that they've been struggling with. Good. Um, and we, whether you are listening to this after or before we do it, we are doing a free Zoom call that you can join with this gentleman who is extremely smart, as you guys can already tell, about all of this and much more detailed of how you can, um, it's, it's a workshop. Yeah. So we're going to do a workshop and that is going to be available in March. So would love to have you guys join it, join us for it. If you're listening to this after that, uh, that, that workshop will be available on our YouTube for you to, um, watch. And, um, so please, if look for it on our YouTube, it's a workshop. We're going to talk about nutrition That's great. Yeah. and March is nutrition month. And so we're really going to be diving deep into that. I'm really excited that Matt is going to be leading the way on that. It's going to be so, a blast. I can't. Yes. <laughs> yes. It'll be very good. Okay. So, what are some things right now today that people can leave this podcast with and start implementing some of this yeah. into their life? I think the first one is the confusion part around nutrition. So stop listening to your neighbor. Stop listening to unqualified sources into your nutrition, especially when it comes to calories, stuff like that. No one should necessarily be telling you how many calories you should be eating. And this is just a blanket statement of overall calories. This isn't talking about macronutrients, timing, stuff like that. But I really believe no one should be talking to your caloric needs or anything like that without first understanding what your body's expending. You know, it kind of goes to if you went out and you were looking for a new car, are you, look, are you looking to buy a Prius, you know, low energy consumption? I mean, it's putting out <laughs> less energy. Or are you buying, looking to buy an F-350 or an F-450 or something, something that has a massive caloric expenditure or, 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 or uh, energy expenditure. So stop there because it just leads to more and more confusion. Get Talk to somebody that knows what they're doing. 
you know, look for reviews of nutritionists or dietitians or, or whoever, see what other people's results are. You know, like when it comes to degrees and all sorts of stuff, and I have some fun degrees, it's great and all. I, if someone says, oh, I'm a dietitian, oh, I have a PhD and all sorts of stuff, that's awesome. Show me your results. Show me the care that you have for your clients because they're coming back. Those kind of things. So stay away from just the overall general advice out there because it's not speaking to you as an individual. Mm -hmm. uh, second one, stop demonizing your foods. I do not believe there's very few bad foods out there. I believe in bad amounts because if we're talking about just good foods versus bad foods, then we're talking about the demonization of, oh, oh my gosh, I ate this food and therefore, <laughs> therefore um, my day's thrown and I'm hosed. Uh, there's no, there's no going back. I'm, <laughs> I'm without cause. Um, get back on track and you'll be just fine. But don't let those one foods deter you. So mm -hmm. don't let, it's still about, it's still about amounts. You know, if, if there's, there's plenty of clients that, are, that will come to me and they'll say, I'm really busy at this time. I have nothing to eat. What should I get? And they'll say, oh, I'm by Taco Bell. I said, great, let's jump on the phone. Let's go through Taco Bell. It's not the most healthy thing in the world. I'm not saying that that's what we should do, but it's better than not eating because then when we don't eat, and we go massive amount of hours without eating, what happens at that, we'll say dinner time. Well, then we overeat, we overdo it because our metabolism is slowed down throughout the day because we didn't eat. And then, <laughs> and then your body's starving and it's going, hey, just give me whatever, my brain shuts off and I'll eat whatever, I don't care the cost of it, I don't care about the intake of it, just give it to me. So let's make sure that we get the, the energy needs that our body needs at that one time so that we're not playing this catch up game, which is a big problem for myself i know that being busy all throughout the day and stuff like that i miss a snack i know that i'm gonna play pay the consequences when i get home for dinner because i know i'm gonna be extra hungry and then i'll make worse you know little different decisions mm -hmm. um last one give yourself grace through your journey this is a journey that is not you know if, if you have a little to lose you have a lot to lose maybe you want to gain gain some muscle give your body time to respond it's not an overnight thing you go through the uh, checkout store at the grocery store and it says lose 30 pounds in a month. I have never in almost in over 15 years of doing this ever had a client lose 30 pounds of fat. There's been that have lost 30 pounds I've seen, but usually it's a lot of water, some muscle and hopefully some fat. So give yourself the grace, be in it for the long haul, be in it for the journey, learn throughout the process so that you're able to take that with you the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. It's you're almost like your own little experiment, but it can take some time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, give yourself mm -hmm. grace. Love those. I love those. You guys can start with the, there's, it's simple things that you can apply to your life right yeah, now. Absolutely. Okay. So then uh, my next question to you is what is your favorite book? My favorite book is, um, it's Wild at Heart uh, by John Eldridge. It was, um, it spoke to me a lot as a little bit younger in that freeing the male spirit, if you will, or just okay. freeing the spirit, you know, let us, be us. Um, if um, little boys in the sand, he's making a mess, let him make a mess. He's a boy. Um, I love that, you know, inside of us, we have men and women have this awesome um, soul or spirit um, and letting that come out and um, serving others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hopefully mm -hmm. that helps. Yeah. No, I, I love it. I've never heard of it. So I, yeah. I love oh, hearing about book. these books that I, I haven't heard of. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What is your favorite quote? My favorite quote, which is, um, I had to look this up. Um, it's actually in my little salutation on, on all my emails, but it's uh, Theodore Roosevelt. It speaks to me a lot. And I, I put this in my, in my little salutation years ago, but it's uh, no one will care what you know until they know that you care. So no one will care what you know until they know that you care. It's one reason why I had to write that down mm -hmm. <laughs> um, in that you can have all the information. You can be the smartest person in the whole world. But if you do not care about somebody, they're not going to care what you know. They're not mm -hmm. going to sit down and allow you to uh, start forming that trust. Mm -hmm. um, and when it speaks to nutrition, trust is massive. You know, you have all these things always wanting to speak into every, everything good, bad, indifferent, whatever. Don't eat this. Do eat this. Um, to have that trust is, is massive. So, yeah, I love it. It's one of my favorite <laughs> quotes. Actually. Yeah, isn't so, it great? Um, and then what is something that you enjoy to do completely outside of work, 
What, what's something yeah. you enjoy to do for yourself? It's going to be cliche. I have three kids and a beautiful wife at home. I cannot wait to get home. So when <laughs> it's time to close the store or whatever, I'm out of there because I can't wait to get home. Uh, so the kids and then a little decompress for myself. Uh, I would usually like to watch like uh, World War II documentaries and stuff like that. World <laughs> War II documentaries. World War I, Civil War. I like to know what happened before before I came onto this planet. Hey, so, yeah, I yeah. love that. I love documentaries. So. I just learned something new yeah. about Matt here. There you go. <laughs> um, and, and honestly, that does not surprise yeah. me. I became my father. Yeah, <laughs> I became my father. I remember Sunday afternoons, I'd walk in and he'd be on the recliner watching something black and white and shooting up. And I'd be like, this is so boring. And now I'm there. I'm there. I've done it. I've come full circle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love life. Um, all right. So tell our listeners where they can find you. You can find us if you're local um, here in Fort Collins. Uh, we're at um, all Timber Lion and Drake. So right over there by that well, kind of east of, of the big King Supers over there. Um, in Boulder, we're at 28th and Walnut, which is a big um, uh, liquor store over there. <laughs> and um, oh, it's a, uh, um, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, REI. So those are our retail uh, stores. But you can always find us online, uh, www. I don't think you have to say that anymore. ColoradoNutrition.com, all spelled out. Um, um, you know, it's called one of the stores, uh, but hit us up on our website. Uh, let us know however we can help. Because you can also order their products online. Oh, yeah. He can sure. help you from anywhere. It's true. So you don't have to be local. Yeah, you don't. You don't. Not at all. And then yeah. um, where can they find you on social media? Social media. We have a few different accounts because we have a few different stores. Um, Colorado Nutrition Fort Collins and Colorado Nutrition Boulder, which are both our Facebook and Instagram handles. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Matt. Oh, thank you. This has been a lot of fun. Anytime. Yes. This is a blast. Yes. All right. So again, uh, you can learn more from Matt. Find, follow him, find him, website, all that. But we're also going to be doing a workshop. So go ahead yeah. and look out for that. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you for listening to the Break Free Podcast by Fitness Festival Events. You can find our website at fitnessfestivalevents.com where you can learn more about the events we have coming up, our break free community, and much more. For Instagram and Facebook, find us at Fitness Festival Events or for our community, Break Free Community. For Rachel, you can find her on Instagram at rachel.pastor and email rachel at fitnessfestivalevents.com.